I have a 2007 Yaris. It is a 1.5 liter, uh, no start condition, and YouTube helped me out a lot. I mean, I I did what I did of a lawnmower to see if it was uh, electrical or fuel. So I, I cranked it over and I had to get a little bit of gas into the throttle body here, and everyone's like, "We'll take that off," which is seized on. I can't get it off. And you could take this here off and just dump some gas in, but I just took the map sensor off all the way out and then poured gas in the hole and I mean it started up fine it's great and the sensor was away from it it chugged a little bit but I knew it was fuel related so and uh checking all these fuses just take your multimeter and set it to uh ohms uh have your car off completely and then just just check the continuity uh, if, if it's broken you won't get any anything uh, but if uh, you'll just get like a, a solid one, which means there's nothing. But if you touch the positive and negative together, you get something. So if you if you put your terminals on each fuse, those little metal things right there, this go positive negative. It doesn't matter which one you do. And if it shows any kind of reaction at all, then that fuse works. Don't take them all out to pain in the ass. These ones you have to take out. But I can tell you right now that none of these have anything to do with uh, your fuel pump. This is your starter. Not sure what that is. And on the inside, you're, you've got some fuses here. And uh, I friggin' looked. Uh, the pink and the blue, I mean, there's nothing. Uh, the, the big box on the right there, the gray ones, are flasher. But the other two, there's nothing on the internet that I can find for what those are. And there's another relay, I'm guessing is a fuel pump relay. Inside there, it's brown. Sorry for this. Yeah, there's not much light. But anyway, the fuse, the other fuse panel is uh, directly underneath my hand. You look at it from the bottom, and you you line your back, and you just test all them, and they all showed up fine too. So then I went to the fuse pump. Or sorry, the uh, fuel pump. The seat just you just lift up, and it pops up, and then you just pry that off, and you've got your wiring in here. And uh, from the top down, when you look at that, you don't know what's what. The black and white go to the fuel pump. The two at the bottom go to the sending unit. Uh, it just tells you the, the level of fuel in your gas tank. But the black one and the white one are to your fuel pump. Now the black one, when I turn the key over, you should hear prime and there's no prime. You put that key in and it does nothing. So I voltage tested it and there's no charge to the black. No, no positive charge. So I'm thinking, oh great, that's probably a relay or something. So I went and hooked it up to a, a lawn tractor battery and it works perfect. I mean, as long as that's hooked up, the pump's running all the time, the car runs great. So uh, for the hell of it, when the car was running, I went and tested this and the black has a charge when the car is running. So I'm, I'm confused. Three days ago, I couldn't say any of the things I'm saying right now. It's just YouTube it helps so much. But uh, I think someone said something about the ECU sends an initial charge to prime the car. So that would mean it's the ECU, electronic control unit, something like that. But uh, I don't know. Right now, the, the tank has enough pressure in it that it will start. It doesn't need a prime. So I'll just keep this battery here and prime it if I need to. Hopefully you guys can tell me what the problem is. Uh, I'm stuck. But hopefully this video will help someone else with a 2007 Yaris having uh, fuel pump related issues. Wish me luck.